Tang, Deng Sheng is a native of Shuzhou, who loves swordsmanship and is generous in his support. On one occasion, he stumbled across a passenger on a donkey and walked the same way. Dong talked to him, the man talked, asked his name again. The man said, I am a native of Liaoyang and my surname is Tong. Dong Sheng asked, Where have you been? He said, I've been out for 20 years and this is just coming back from overseas. You've traveled all over the world and know a lot of people. Have you seen anyone? What kind of person is an alien? Said a passenger surname Tong. Dong Sheng said he likes defense, but he just hates not being taught by others. Tong said, where is the infidel? But it must be Takako Tachiomori, who will pass on his martial arts to him. Mr. Dong insists he is one of those people, then pulls out the sword to play it and sing it, and cuts through the small trees next to it to show its sharpness. Tong smiled and asked for the sword to watch. Ying Sheng handed him the sword, and Tong looked at it and said, this sword is made of inferior iron and smoked with sweat. It is the lowest sword. I don't know the sword, but I have a sword that works. So I took a long, ruler long sword from under my clothes and used it to cut Dong Sheng's sword, which was crisp like a melon, broken at will, with horseshoe like fractures. Dong Sheng was appalled and asked Tong to hand over the sword and give it back after three verbal experiments. Mr. Dong invited Mr. Tong to his home determined to keep him for two nights. Dong asked him for advice on sword law, but Tong said he didn't understand. Dong Sheng pressed his hands on his knees and talked a lot about sword play. Tong listened respectfully. In the middle of the night, I heard the noise, the noise, the noise in the courtyard next door, and I didn't know what was happening. Dong Sheng's father, who lives in the opposite courtyard, was so taken aback that he went to the wall to listen intently only to hear someone say angrily, tell your son to get out and get his sentence, and you will be released. After a while, I heard the sound of hitting someone with a stick, and the moaning person was Dong's father. Dong Sheng picked up a long knife and tried to rescue him. Tong held him and said, you've got to find a foolproof way to die. Mr. Dong was terrified and asked for advice. Tong said, when a robber comes to you, he is sure to arrest you. You don't have any other flesh and blood. You should tell your wife and children what's going on. I'll open the door and wake your servant up. Dong Sheng said yes. Go inside and tell his wife and son. His wife pulled his clothes and cried bitterly. And Mr. Dong's desire to save his father was immediately quashed. So the couple ran upstairs together, looking for bows and arrows to defend against bandits. Panicked and unprepared, Tong was heard laughing on the eaves and saying, Thank goodness the thief has left. When Dong Sheng looked at the lamp, the robbers were gone. Mr. Dong hesitated to leave the gate and saw his father drinking at a neighbor's house and returning with a lantern. It was just some leftover grass in the yard. Dong Sheng knows that Tong is an alien. All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.